Hey everyone, I thought I'd try uh, dubbing in my voice. Okay, so here we go. Priming with Bear Study Paint Pot. Um, I don't know why I chose this. I guess because the shadow I'm using is kind of shimmery, so I just thought this would enhance it. I've already done my face makeup with the usual suspects. I will list those all in the description box at the end of this video. Well, I guess you'll be seeing it live, so forget that part. <clears throat> Moving on to the main character, Victoria's Secret Behind the Sheets Single Eyeshadow. Um, can't remember how much it costs, but it's under $10, I'm pretty sure. It's a luster. I guess that means it's shimmery. And I'm looking for a shader brush because I was not as prepared as I thought I would be. Kind of tried to do this quickly. That is an old Sigma SS239. Not sure of the numbering. I'll link the new one below. I love it. Use it a lot. I am avoiding the inner corner. You will see why. Um, so, yep, there you go. You'll see why later. And I'm just kind of, I'm packing it on there, actually. So, they're all my wrinkles. Um, hmm. Love HD. Anyway, so I went back for another coat, so to speak, just to make sure it's all good and on. And I'm using my double shader brush thingy from Walmart, the HD collection. Very specific scientific name for that, the thingy. Just blending it out, making sure there's no harsh lines. Although why, I don't know, because I'm using the same darn color. Again, this time using the Sigma uh, blending brush. Again, I don't remember the new numbering. I'll put a link to that brush too. I do like it, it's quite versatile. I use it for concealer too. Not that specific brush, but as you can see, I'm starting in the corner with the, and going kind of in a circular motion and then, um, see, circle, 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 circle. And now I'm telling you again to circle. And then we're gonna do windshield wiper motions throughout the crease. Don't worry, there will be blending at the end. And it's a very kind of subtle look, I think. Now I'm blending. Don't worry, there'll be even more blending, I promise. It's subtle. Um, I like it. It's fun. Okay, I'm starting out with the EOS tiniest of tiny crease brushes. It comes in a set of two, and I'm dipping in, and you will shortly see that I'm dissatisfied with that, but it's a good way to draw on the guide color if you're not sure where you're putting it exactly. I'm just basically making a V, sideways V, and then here I am going, wait, nope, don't like that so much, looking through my collection, and there we go. I'm picking the larger of the two brushes. See? Big and having another go at it. And I'm just kind of patting it to make it look a little darker. There's not gonna be a huge variation since this is still Victoria's Secret Between the Sheets. I haven't used another color yet. And um, there's my expert blending technique, I'm using the finger. Doing the same thing here, patting it in what will be eventually a V. There we go. It's more like a carrot character, isn't it? It's not really a V. Ignore the licking in the background. That is Bosley. He just came in from a jaunt outside in the pool. All right, we're getting towards the end of the show now, aren't we? No, I guess not. There's quite a bit of time left. Okay, now, Wet n Wild Brulee, a lovely viewer sent that to me. Thank you for all of you who offered. If I had taken up your offer, I would have had a lifetime supply and then some, but um, I'm using my trusty double-sided brush from Walmart, and I'm just blending the high, doing the highlight and blending out the edges. It's kind of like an eraser. It's a magic eraser. It kind of fixes all things. Now, I'm not suggesting you should only use one color, but I'm just demonstrating that it is definitely doable for the most part. Now I've decided I need a highlight, so I'm going for Steal a Kitten. That is a very old packaging. I don't believe they make it like that anymore. I don't think I will ever use that up ever. Now back to my double-sided brush, this time using the pointy side. Tap, tap. And now I'm kind of smacking it on in that inner corner, which I will go back and forth and do numerous times because I can't really see what I'm doing in the tiny little viewfinder. Um, by the way, I'm wearing Revlon's Copper Penny on my fingers. Oop, got an email there. Um, it's okay. I like the longevity. I'm not digging the color on me. I like it on other people. I think a more olive-toned person could pull that off, but it will stay for now. 
Um, so yep, just drawing it on and then blending it a little bit. So there you go. Now for the boring part. If this wasn't boring enough already, I am looking for my eyeliner. Aha, there it is, Stila. It's dark brown eyeliner. And um, I know, I know, I shouldn't be tugging at the corners of my eye. I'll get wrinkles, blah, blah, blah. I get it. But then, how fun would it be to try to put on eyeliner without tugging? I'm trying not to do too much in the inner corner there. And I really don't smack on a lot of eyeliner. It's just kind of to darken the lash line, really. Now for my Tarte Eyelash Curler. There it is. If archaeologists find an eyelash curler thousands of years from now, they're going to think it is some odd torture device. Really. Yeah, ow. I pinched myself a little there. What genius came up with that? All right, now for the MAC Prep and Prime, the star of the summer for me. Doo, doo, doo. And I know there's a big clump of it at the end. I will address that very shortly. Um, wow. Can anyone say, anyone who's going to accuse me of ever having Botox, you need to retract that statement right now. Okay, I got rid of the goop. And I'm just... Now, I've never waited for it to dry. I don't see that that makes a difference for me, but if anyone has any experience using this stuff, let me know what you think. I never actually read the directions, so I don't know if you're supposed to wait to dry before you put on the mascara, but who has time for that, really? I'm just blinking away. And now for my super duper heavy duty mascara, extremely expensive, Best Lash Extreme from Jordana for $2.99. It's either my second or third tube now. And there we go. Voila, I have lashes, yay. I'm just um, putting it on. At that point, I'm making a crazy face because I'm trying very hard not to open my mouth while doing that. And um, it's really hard. I'll fix that, hang on. There we go. Okay, and on to the next eye. Like I said, I've already done my face, and I did my eyebrows too with the Sally Girl Brow Powder. Um, usual foundation is the Bourjois Healthy Mix in 52. Urban Decay um, Stick Concealer for the blemishes. Under Eye is Garnier Rollerball, and um, what's on top of it? Oh, I'm trying the NYX HD Undercover. Oh, that's Revlon Baby Pink Color Burst. And on it goes. Now, don't get your panties in a twist. I'm about to pull out an extremely expensive lip gloss. It was also a gift from an overzealous subscriber. She knows who she is. Thank you, dear. And um, I'm going to be using this in a future video to show if I have found a dupe for it that is not nearly as expensive as that. So I will say my initial impression is, wow, this stuff really lives up to the hype. So there we go. Just picking up something that was on my lip. That is it. That's all you get. That's as good as it gets. Now I'm taking out my hair. I will probably throw it back in a ponytail as soon as this video is over anyway. So there you go. I'm not naked. Don't freak. And that's it. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.